so some great package has come and this package has come from my brother from another mother it has come from Kashmir I know what is inside this but I'm not going to break the excitement with me just open this This was sent by air as you can see that is a logo It took actually two days for it to travel from Kashmir to Kerala but it took another two days for those idiots to keep it with them and finally I had to go and collect it was crazy okay this part looks good so is this part there is absolutely zero rust underneath so we'll just clean the tank and make it work so I wanted to put the old tank on its side to show you guys what is wrong with it so I'll just give you the old tank I was trying to do some DIY stickering that's why you see this like this so this is a new tank as you can see this contour doesn't exist in this tank it goes like this then it curves like this so somebody has done some welding on it but the tank is good so probably we'll use it for some future build. so this is how the new one looks like slight dent all these can be managed we can pull this out uh, there is a slight dent here which is also okay great thing is it's not welded it's not leaky and the price we got it for was something amazing uh, to just give you an idea I don't remember but uh, it was cheaper than the normal RX 135 or 100 used tank in bad condition so you can just imagine how much it would be so let's just place it on the RXZ, let's see how it looks like. Oh wow. So, this was built to be here. Awesome. Looks nice. So, another thing is, I'm planning to clean all this mess. So, hopefully, I'll dedicate that. I'll dedicate tomorrow to cleaning. Because if you see, there is a lot of mess. All created by me, of course and this guy is also complaining that there is a lot of mouse here so we'll have to eventually clean everything so I have I've taken off the uh, covers side covers both side uh, because I'm planning to convert it into a 5 speed I'm actually waiting on an engine uh, talking of 5 speed this is the one that uh, is rotting here for some time so my original plan was to take it out today and start working so probably I'll do that as well um, so I have to rush to the city to get some spares um, some basic stuff so once I get those spares then probably I'll start reassembly of this bike this is this though it looks very sad as of now if you see now there is a lot of rust and pitting here, there is pitting here, 
this can be brought back to life pretty easily you know this is not something which is going to cause a lot of heartburn so i'm going to bring it back to life i'm going to do electrolysis on the mud guard inner tubes then the sari guard rear mud guard and obviously the shock cups these ones these cups so that's almost all of the chrome plus i'll just do this on this part also or the kicker goes on you and then obviously the um catalytic converter bits as well this the idea is to paint the engine uh some nice color this bike was actually fully restored before it went back into this state so my idea would be to you know not touch the engine at least this time because it's been almost like uh less than 2 years that i have restored this bike so you know we'll we'll go and work on that so the great news is now we are back on track on the rxz so i'm i'm still little confused which one to finish first this one or that one but most likely it would be that one because uh that is kind of an easy fix you know though it it looks this bad but trust me it's an easy fix uh painting is not required on that mostly because you know everything was painted couple of years ago so there will be some slight touch ups that i will do i'll just buy some black paint and you know spray paint and spray it all over the parts which have which are too far gone then you know everything was new like you can see the chain cover was pretty new in that so that is going to be fixed uh so i'll i'll pull it out maybe tomorrow and then you know i'll start working on that uh maybe we'll use the old wheels and tires as of now and so as you can see i have a lot of old tires lying around and planning to use the front tire on this because uh, this has a disc and the rim is kind of lying there so i am going to the city now planning to buy some spares plus i'll start working on it in the evening today so some plans are there so let's hope we we'll start it so once again thanks to my friend junel who sent me this tank you know i cannot i cannot express it in words so he also gave me an idea on how to you know uh, fix these kind of dents i might try that so his idea was to put a tube inside and inflate it which is a great idea you know i've, I've never thought about it so in all probability i might do that just to see if these dents pop out and then we have to get rid of these ugly stickers this is nice somebody has written pulsar here okay so thanks a lot for watching and then we'll start working on these bikes pretty soon thank you